I give one task to my junior related to custom sorting on a data table in MUI. In MUI, we call it as a data grid instead data table, right? There is a component called data grid. So I gave him task that you need to do a custom sorting. It's a calendar or you can say it as a scheduler. So in that there are a couple of steps which needs to be performed. Like if you click on any header, then that same column should be highlighted. That is one task. And on every header, there is a time, a time and date, right? And top of it, there is one icon. If you click on that icon, you can modify the changes in that particular highlighted cell or highlighted column. Second, these rows values can be empty as well as non-empty. Understood? So I gave him task. Initially, his design was good. He designed it beautifully. Design-wise, UI side, all good. Now, when it comes to rect, rect or angular, when it comes to logic, then problem comes. So when you write a logic, you should have a strong foundation. Your basics should be strong. That really helps. Especially when you are working in front end, your JavaScript should be good. Example, let me tell you ex with examples. So for custom sorting, it was like empty values. We have empty values. We have non-empty values. Non-empty values should come always above the empty values. No matter it is ascending and descending. So for this, you can Google. Of course, you can do chat GPT as well, whatever you want. You can try on your own, okay? That every time your values, non-empty values should come above the empty values. This is one task. Second task, if I click on that header icon, which is also a part of header, that icon is also a part of header. Now, if you click on that icon, sorting should not happen. So here comes the concept of stop propagation. But you need to pass all those values to its component as well because when you click on that icon, a pop-up will appear where you have all the customer names or employee names with their activities. Understood? So now you can modify that activities. If you click on save, if you click on save, then what should happen? Then your page, page should be refreshed and that initial sorting was on customer name and that should happen now. Okay, so this was the task, okay, he was messing it up, but then with the help of React developer tools, also with the help of console, we did debugging, we first tried to understand the flow, where the, fun, like, where the, what is the flow right now, okay, if I click on this button example, what all functions are being executed, so first understand the flow, and then we understand the concept, and with just one and two lines, issue was solved and sometimes you have to take break also that is what I taught him okay, when you are continuously working you are actually exhausting or you are already being exhausted so just take a little break 10 minutes 15 minutes take a sip of water tea coffee or cold drink whatever you want and then just come with a relaxed mind and then try to solve the problem sometimes it happens that when we are in washroom or when we are something doing extra then suddenly that idea got clicked. Okay, for me also, I, when I was thinking on the first day, that idea was clicked at 2.30 a.m. Okay, everyone was sleeping and then I woke up and I just thought that one thing, okay, maybe by morning I might forget. Okay, let's try tonight also. It's just only two more five minutes work. Let's try, if it works then good, if it not, then we will do tomorrow. And luckily it worked. Okay, so, in always, when you are doing coding, especially, I can understand the pain of developers, okay? Uh, you can't able to sleep when something is not working as expected. But one thing I observe from management side also, like, uh, it's very difficult to deal with non-technical persons as well. When you face a real-life challenges and a non-technical person says, hey, it's just a arrow, just click on it, it will do ascending and it will do descending, simple. It, when this is simple and <laughs> and being 10 years experienced, when I say here word simple, when the already like situation is very complex, how can it be simple? Okay, but it's okay. You should never mess with them. You should never uh, like disrespect or do like that. It's their job that uh, it, they are non-technical persons and they are doing project management and other stuff. Okay, so be polite and try to understand and help them to understand the situation as well. So this is my learning.
what is your learning tell me in comment section or if you want to share your experience then you can do it in comment section thank you so much